When I was young, technology wasn't really um, around. So uh, I never thought of having a job in tech. That was never a goal. But when I started learning coding, I started seeing the power that, that existed and the reach that coding has. From that point on, I was hooked. Well, my name is Jason. I do coding. I'm a software engineer. A lot of people always say, like, you don't look like a software engineer. And I love that, right? Because typically I don't right now. How many people know somebody in prison, incarcerated? It's the majority of people. And how many of you guys know somebody that's a coder? I learned to code in prison. I've been out, I've been out for about two months now. I spent the last 13 and a half years in prison. Where I'm from, you don't, you don't see nobody having tech jobs. You don't see nobody going to no nine to five or anything like that. What you do see though is a chaotic environment where people are coming in and out of prison. I joined the gang at 11 years old. I thought the life that I was living was normal because everybody around me was doing the same thing. The first positive influence I had was a football coach. That's where I poured all my pain, my passion, my anger. I received Division I scholarships. However, I didn't make the grades. I wasn't prepared for the SATs. And when all those opportunities were taken away, I went right back doing the same things and went right back into the same life. In 2006, I was sentenced to 14 years in prison. If it wasn't for the last mile, honestly, I don't know where I would be. It helped me reimagine what my life could be and the possibilities. When we first started the last mile, we decided that it was vitally important to provide marketable skills to those who are incarcerated so when they return to society, they have the ability to be successful and not reoffend. Over the course of two years, Google.org will donate $2 million to help The Last Mile expand its reach, helping people to build the skills that they need to succeed. With Google's support, we're not only expanding our curriculum. In the next five years, we want to be in 50 classrooms, but we don't want to stop there. We really believe that this will change the nature of incarceration in America and hopefully in the world. Over a two-year period, The Last Mile will educate and certify 525 youth, women, and men in a variety of skills, including front-end software engineering, entrepreneurship, web and mobile app development, design, and QA. We're basically getting feedback from our Googlers with their expertise and talent in coding and also in, in curriculum development ourselves and providing that feedback to the last mile so that they could really appeal to Google them. software engineers, program managers, and user experience researchers are working with the last mile to adapt its coding program and make it work for young people. They're also working to create a virtual lecture series so that program participants have direct access to technologists in the sector. You guys like problem solving? Do you guys like logic thinking? One of the first things I did after getting out was start a program at a local high school to share my knowledge about computer science with youth who are not incarcerated. If they don't see coding as an option, they're not gonna choose it. And they're coming from the same conditions I came from. And if I can learn it inside of prison where there's no internet access, right? Y'all can too. I'm doing things that I never thought I would do in life. I have real goals now. I'm not defined by my crime or by the fact that I dropped out of college. I'm a software engineer who's proficient in JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, React, Jekyll, and I work at a tech company in San Francisco. It feels good the fact that my son is actually proud of me. It's time for me to help my community and help break this cycle of incarceration. And yeah, it's a lot of work to be done, 
Bwana mhaupfu 